Hello, I would like to show you the Apetium or whatever um, R package that I wrote, um, which creates an Apetopium for from one or more protein sequences. And this is a package that builds on two packages. One is a net MHC2 pan, which obtains the MHC2 epitopes for proteome. So that means um, this one determines which proteins. Um, which amino acids of a protein uh, an MIC, MHC2 allele binds to. The other package it also uses is TMHMM transmembrane helix, which determines for all amino acids in a protein where it is located, which can be inside the cell in the cytosol or in the membrane or in the, in the surroundings of the cell. So this actually only works for transmembrane um, proteins, so don't de use it to determine if um, a protein is in the cytosol or uh, anywhere else. It should be a transmembrane protein. So and actually that's these two packages are uh, combined is what Epitopium does. So what it does it gives you both the MHC2 epitopes combined with the, the, the location where these amino acids are. So if I scroll down a bit, you can see how this looks like the end result. So here we have a gene. And here we see a very long string, which is just ex which is exactly as long as the amount of amino acids this protein has. And a small O means that it's outside but doesn't bind to the MHC2 allele we've used. Here we have some membrane, parts that are in the membrane, parts that are inside. And here with the capitals, I'll zoom in a bit, with the capitals means that the MHC2 allele we've used uh, will bind to this amino uh, acids. So here we can see both where the amino acids are located, but also if they bind to our MHC2 alleles. Right. The hardest part in using it is definitely in the installation. The installation is the hardest part because you need to install both packages that I've uh, I've written as well, THM, TMHMM and NetMHC2 pan. And for both cases you need to have a download URL. <coughs> so the package TMHMM, there's a download link here and you need to so this is the server it's very it's very well it's it's a great thing you can download it here and y you need to fill in who you are where at which university you work with affiliation and you also have to agree on um that you only that you're an academic user and not a commercial or whatever so that's not only the case for tmhmm but this is also the case for Net MHC2 pan. So you need to do both. Uh, here's the website. Ah well. So you need to do both, and then it's a, it's a breeze. You just install Epitopium, and you're there. So um, let's take a look at the at, at the the vignette. There's one vignette called demo, very eloquently named, because it demos uh, well <laughs> in the package, and. Uh, so there was there. So I've already installed our uh, beloved packages uh, like pr tools. So you install the GitHub of TMHMM. You need to install TMHMM from a download link. So this one you can't use anymore because it's expired. Uh, it only lasts for four hours. So that's why you need to do it manually. So also the vignette checks if the installation worked and will give a nice error message if you did not install TMHMM correctly. And it does exactly the same thing for this tool, NetMHC2 pan. So it installs a GitHub that I also wrote that calls it from R. Also here you need to install that tool using a download link which is already expired as well. Again, it checks the installation, and after installing, all you need to do is this: install the GitHub. 
and then things get very simple. You need to specify a FASTA file name, uh, like a, a, a FASTA file to work on. So here I displayed an example. So here it loads a FASTA file that's already in the package. So it's in the folder um, inst slash xdata. And here it displays the FASTA file name. So you see all the our amino acid friends here and also the protein name here and then all you need to do is create the epitopium and it will give you an epitopium like this right and it's a, this is this long string again and the capitals are uh, epitopes to MHC2 and the, the lowercase are not epitopes O is outside I is inside and M is in the membrane. So of course there are some things that you can uh, modify because MHC2 has a lot of MHC2 alleles. So if you just go to the help of create epitopium, you will see that you can specify, so we need to FASTA file definitely, but you can specify your alleles and you can specify a binding strength threshold. These three are the most important ones. The other, th the rest are just temporary files you may want to look at one day in your life, but it's not very important. Um, so the alleles, you can actually get them very easily. There's a function called get net mhc 2 pen alleles. Let's take a look at that help. You just call it and then you get the list. So let's do that for giggles. Let's do it here. Uh, let's net mh net mhc 2 pen and just show the list. So you see all the list. So you see all the alleles that M uh, net mhc 2 pen has. And the other argument is the binding strength threshold. So setting this to a low value means that you're more selective. For example, a low threshold, um, like a low value, like 5.0 means that you select for the top 5% best binders. So that concludes all there is to say about the epitopium package. So. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I wish you a very good day. Bye.